new starting. Yeah. Lit. Hi. Hi. Wait, who's gonna see this? Oh, Mr. Kasher. Hi, Spider-Man. Hi, Spider-Man. And so, Dr. Sparger, please don't fire me. How long y'all been out here? Uh, we didn't see anybody naked at all. What is your name? My name is Hudson Kraus. Um, we'll go Mr. Platt. My name is Cooper Dunn. Stefan Frederick Gallen. I am Jackson Essig. After a year with Mr. Taylor, what are your honest thoughts on British people? <laughs> really? I want to be one of them. Subhuman. I mean, I'll never visit the UK after meeting him. So I will stick to America. They take words and they make them like fancier. So one time I was just like writing in my planner. The bell hasn't even rung. Mr. Taylor, he takes my planner. It's an iPad. He takes my iPad and he writes invade Poland on my list of to do. What day of the week was it? A Wednesday. After four years in the program, tell us who shouldn't do IB. Anyone who wishes to maintain any sense of sanity. We were looking for names. Names? Um, Paul Rudd. <laughs> Santina. Tina. Santina. Santina. <laughs> Santina. Lamb. Like the kids that sleep in class or the kids who don't show up on test day? Me. In Spanish, we covered the soccer team that crashed into the Andes. Who in 2022 would turn to cannibalism first? Probably you. Tolvo. Cannibalism. Uh, let's see. Oh, definitely Hudson. Who would she eat first? Me. <laughs> definitely James Hall. Who would he eat first? Mm, Profe Ramirez. How long would it take him? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Ocho Diaz. Zach Silvers. He already has. Zach Silvers. Gosh. Is, it, is it because of the meat thing? It's because of the meat thing. Zach. Zachary Silvers. Zachary Silvers. No, no question. I actually do have a you video do? of him uh, reaching into his fridge, unwrapping oh, ground yeah. beef, and straight up eating it. Like licks my computer and my phone, and it's kind of. <laughs> I'm glad he I just kind of licks our possessions. There's like a mental barrier to eat somebody, and he doesn't have that barrier already. What's your dream survival team of students? survival team it would probably be colin because he's tall and he declares that he can do everything so yeah let's start with ben gatz's thighs maybe hudson uh sarcasm would be you or is that part of our warrior spirit inability to be pinned down might be theo uh it's hard to find silent but stealthy that might be dylan bonza bonza cooper i think's the wild card Back all there. these people into cooper's body is that what I'm looking you're putting? You're putting Hudson's thighs into Cooper's body? That would work. Uh, I mean, like, say like we were stuck somewhere and I needed to survive. Jackson, definitely. Could throw rocks at squirrels, kill them, skin them, eat them, wear them. Rocky could milk pigeons. Is that what you're drinking? Pigeon milk? I would touch them myself, no. You and Joseph for, you know, insightful uh, uh, conversations. Nicole? and um, joy because they would be able to provide the right aesthetics for the island you know in terms of We're on an island i think so for different strengths definitely alexa uh miriam hudson james james hall probably matthew clark as well there's there's a lot but let's just stick with those for now strong fast Reliable. Asher, done. Um, I would have to bring Natara along because she talks all the time. So she would be my entertainment. And then I would probably bring Ryan in hopes that his mom would actually cook me up a lot of bulgogi so we could take it with us. Mean Gene, the survival machine. Um, a survival situation, you probably need somebody that can kick some doors in for you, so I'm definitely bringing on Ryan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How could we well, forget? Talk, talk to us about that. Oh, just, I couldn't control my power, you know? Because he's a main character, he exactly. uh, felt the need to release his rage. One little <laughs> kick, this was like 10% of his power. 
absolutely cracked the door open. Understandable. So, but so what if you, I don't become a roommate with him? What's the closest time you've come to dropping out? Uh, Sarah Sue's class. Well, I wanted to senior year, but it's too late now. Um, this year, all the time. Um, today, um, when Roll assigned the TOK essay. Probably junior year. And I would say when I had like four IAs due at the same time, that was probably a really dark time for me. Probably like sophomore year. Yeah, probably like the first half of uh, junior year, actually. I feel like it's pretty constant every day. It's the same. Oh. Dropping out, I'll never. This is so much fun. <laughs> when you're older, who would you like to take care of you if you had a chance from the 2022 class? Um, I would like Joy to take care of me. Um, Joy seems to be very nurturing and she has always been very nice to me. And we would wave at each other sometimes on um, driving to school on Clyde Morris. So I would want Joy to take care of me. The easy answer is, is Miriam. I think it could be an interesting misery type situation if Asher was my caretaker. I think Aubrey, let's give Aubrey. Joseph and Nicole. Joseph, because he's gentle. Nicole, because she's kind. Oh, definitely um, Miriam Gerges, who was there before, um, Anne Silva, Catherine Bechet, for sure. I would stick Matthew Clark and Hudson Krause in there too. You think and James Hall. Uh, stick Natifa in there as well. I don't know, I think I'm out of luck here. You're just dying? Yeah. Who would you least want to take care of you when you're old? Emily Croft. <laughs> she probably just at the age of 72 uh, uh, nailed me to a surfboard and sent me down into the ocean. A Viking Brave, funeral? Sort of, yes. Let's go with Rihanna? For Matt Clark, I know he wouldn't take care of me. I mean, Davis would be a little sketchy, but other than that, I think everyone else would be fine. Who would you endorse for political candidacy in the future? Alexa Wilson. Yeah, but also no. Easy, Marta. What would she run for? I think she would go, you know, city council first and then run for the Senate and she would have a very successful campaign. I'm gonna go with Max Weaver. Uh, I think he'd be in charge of foreign relations. Oh, Marta. Oh, what would she run for? The president. Would she win? Yes, because we want women in. <laughs> in office, but not for the right reasons. Whoa. I'm just joking. Do you remember when the Ader hallway flooded with pee? Yes. Unfortunately. I do. Oh my gosh, yeah. Who can forget that? Who do you think was underrated in our class? Langston Scott, 1000%. Donuts every Wednesday, yep. always has a cheery attitude, will always help anyone. Like, come on, yep. what's there not to love he about He got the Valentine's card for me. He got me one too. Langston Scott. I'm team Langston. Yeah, everybody's team. Ever, can you? I should have said that. I should have said Langston. Your team Langston? You know, I'm not sure to answer you. You convinced me. I like Langston a lot. Me? Uh, what teacher do you think you could take in a fight? Roll. I would scream a lot and hit him hard. Definitely not Gufford. Probably Mr. Phillips. Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Who do you want to fight but you couldn't win against? Mr. Gufford. All of them. Easily? Brent Roll. I probably could beat Mr. Taylor, but I think I wouldn't because I'd just start laughing halfway through. Just because I feel like like he'd start fighting and he'd like go like this. No, no, I'm just saying Mr. Taylor because he thinks he could take anyone in a fight. Just to prove him wrong. And, yeah, I just want to prove him wrong. Okay. Um, Miss Cole, she's like the only one who's like size that I could swoop in and be like, Mr. Platt. Really? Yeah. Cause he's always saying, new student in class every time I show up. But like, you should be thankful I'm there. In one word, what was our class? <clears throat> Truant. Uh, a footnote? A lot. I know that's two words, but a handful. Also two words. <laughs> uh, rambunctious. How about that one? Fun. My HL class is probably the most fun I've I've had uh, maybe ever. It was fun. Phoenix. Like rivers. <laughs> <laughs> Just one word. COVID. 
Fine, give us multiple words then where it's not bad. Better than COVID. Honestly amazing. I'm going to be sappy when I say that, but your class is really good. I, it was a pleasure coming every day because I had you guys in the morning. Like it just, it brightened my day. We have four sets of twins in 2022. The Silversteins, the Gillespies, the Blackburns, and the Bobzars. Who would win in a fight and how? Um, like against the other twins or just between them? Against the other twins. Definitely not the Blackburns. See, now that's kind of a disrespectful question. But if I had to put all my money on someone, Nalei and Mirage. Uh, they got the size on everyone, I feel like. They got the toughness. I feel like they'll probably beat us. They'll strategize. Oh, Nilai and Niraj, they're the twins to me, you know. Yeah, they're always watching. Yeah, like they got a they're lot very observant, say. don't say much, but there's That's a lot true. of true. Could you demonstrate how Niraj and Nilai would fight? I can tell you it would, it would be low to the ground, biting. I think they do a lot of biting. The Blackburns probably have like psychedelic abilities. Oh my god, they all look the same. I'm gonna need to think about this. They're twins. Oh, you're right, they are twins. Uh, me and Abby, obviously. We have like telepathy. So like we can use that strategize. They're tall. So I hate to be like tallest, but they're tall and they play volleyball. They got some strong legs. They would just kick them. Big leg fighters. Mm -hmm. Definitely the Gillespies. Out of pure strength in like intellectual ability and like, you know, strategy wise, I feel like they would have it down. The Blackburns. The Gillespies would get their car stolen. Nero and Eli, I don't know. They just would be busy doing math. And finally, do you have any advice for our class? To be honest with yourself. Don't take shortcuts. Go through the experience. Even if it's hard, it's really important. Go to class. When you go to college, go to class. Make sure you go to class. Um, and go to class. Yeah. Um, attend. Be present. Um, go to class. Yeah. Never second guess yourself. Have confidence. Just never look back and have any regrets on something that you wanted to do or wanted to try. Be compassionate. We all have a, the same heart. And so we just need to learn how to be empathetic and just love one another. Uh, just ha continue to have fun. You guys, they all seem like to have a lot of fun this year. Uh, you only go to college once, so enjoy it and uh, get your grades. And I'll see you when you graduate. Hard times will come. Some of the hard times you went through in high school um, will sometimes prepare you for those hard times that you'll in, that will come to you as an adult. You just have to remember that the next day will come. In my position as the interim superintendent of Volusia County Schools and on behalf of the faculty and staff of Spruce Creek High School, I certify to you that all members of this graduating class are eligible to receive the official recognition of their graduation. Congratulations, graduates. In recognition of your achievements, please move your tassels. And so I'm still waiting to meet Angela.